I want to ask you quickly both about Hex. Now, a 7.1% increase now, so a lot more money that, that student loans will need to be paid off. I started uni on six occasions and dropped out every time prior to completing a unit, yet I paid Hex for a full degree that I never got. Do you owe a lot of hex? I have just paid my hex <gasps> off, but my sister is drowning in hex debt. I believe she paid $3,000 off last year oh. and had an extra $8,000 added this year. So, How much um, was yours in total? If you I think say. mine was around about 35000 but that yeah. was an undergraduate. And in this day and age, um, undergraduates, you know, had to then go on and do further studies in masters, which oh. therefore increases the amount of hex debt. So it is really is the rat race. Um, and... Unfortunately, with this hex debt, we could be seeing people opt out of tertiary education and then well, that's going to result in... I'm the prime example. You can be a, a uni dropout and still semi-make it. Charlotte, is that the right message for the kids out there watching? <laughs> I love it. I also think we need a lot more people going into trades, so maybe this yeah. could end up with a benefit. But we did tell people that it wouldn't be easy under Albanese, and this does <laughs> seem to be certainly pointing in that direction. And I feel very sorry for all the people who, you know, tried to uh, improve their careers prospects and, uh, you know, really try and add to their education by enrolling in, yeah. in these uh, university degrees. And then to have this is a bit of a slap in the face, I think. No, I think so. And, look, if you are planning on being a doctor or a lawyer, I do advocate that you go to uni just for those two alone. <laughs> Everything else, you can just work hard. Uh, Ellie Cole, thank you so much. Charlotte Mortlock, great to have you both on.